Okay, so the Raspberry Pi 4 has got a new EEPROM update. It's not in stable at the moment, so it won't update with the normal updating method. Uh, but if you want to apply it, uh, which I'm going to try and do today, I'll show you how to do it. So this is the 28th of the 10th, so it's only just come out. And there are loads of fixes, loads of things to speed things up, add compatibility. There's uh, support for this tri-boot feature that enables operating systems to implement a fallback mechanism if an OS upgrade fails. So all sorts of things, loads and loads of changes. Right, let's have a look. Uh, and so I'd gone back to one of my older videos and uh, found the way of updating it. So sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade will update your system normally. Uh, so it's worth doing that first of all. Uh, and then what we need to do is put this in and we want to change the EEPROM, up, EEPROM update to beta. So let's right click and paste. There you go. So this is on stable at the moment, but if I change that to beta and save it, so control O, enter, control X. And let's just do that again, just to show that it has changed to beta. Yeah, excellent. Uh, so now what we need to do is apply this. Now I don't know if this is going to work. I've changed some of the text in this to give the latest date. Uh, and I guess I probably need to change that to beta as well. I'm not sure. So I'll change it back to stable if it doesn't work. Uh, let's just save that. So copy. Let's open a terminal. Paste that in. It looks like it's going to do it. So, and it's come up with the information 28th of the 10th installing. Well, it looks like it's all right. Don't know why that doesn't work. So, let's go sudo reboot. Oh, is it? I bet it's because the reboot has got a capital R on it. That's all it is. So, reboot. Okay, so that's booted up fine. What I'm going to do though is to reboot it or, or shut down and then restart it without the SD card because then it shows you all the boot information. Okay, so you can see at the top, October 28th, 2020. So it has definitely got the latest update. Uh, what will happen if I put in, uh, so something from next video, uh, I've got Ubuntu Mate on USB. Let's just plug that in and see what happens. OK, so that's booted up fine from an SSD via USB. Uh, it did with the old update, so nothing has changed there, but I know that USB boot hasn't been broken by applying this. So I'm going to shut this down because I'm not uh, ready to do my Ubuntu Mate SSD USB boot video. That will come later. Uh, so let's boot back into Raspberry Pi OS. OK, so uh, if you're also trying to USB boot systems, uh, not everything works and not every device works. And if you if you do a search on my channel for USB boot, you'll find, uh, well, this is the latest stable way of getting USB boot. Uh, so that's a way of doing that. Um, but there's also things like this uh, USB won't boot fix. So some operating systems need an extra 14 boot files and it explains it in that video. Another useful one is this Raspberry Pi USB boot working OS list. And if you have a look in the description of this video, uh, you can see there's a working list of operating systems and people keep adding them from the comments. So I'm always appreciative of that. Uh, but I've just added official Ubuntu Mate 20.10 and official Ubuntu 20.10 because they also natively support USB boot. Even on the stable version, you don't need this new EEPROM update to be able to do that. This is more... Uh, you would do this if you like to experiment and you're not worried about breaking things. Uh, but also if you were having issues with certain hard drives and operating systems and things like that, this should add more compatibility. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.